My name is Tom Street. I'm a director of the Intent Group and we help organisations attain exceptional operational performance. As a team we've got a, a very strong suite of uh, capabilities, people experienced in business, um, both done line management roles and in consultancy roles. So we like to think we've got some experience in trying to deliver uh, what, we, what we try to help companies with uh, from across a wide range of industries as well. And what I want to talk to you about today is about this word efficiency. You know, we all hear about New Zealand's productivity and it's not as good as it should be and we need to be more efficient. The big challenge is it's one of those words that now can be overused and, and people can become very confused about what we need to be efficient in. What are we trying to improve? Here I'm sure we've heard customers, customers, customers. Let's understand what our customers want. None of us are um, without competitors, uh, which means our customers have choices, which means they're choosing between us, our product, our service, whatever it is, on some attributes. You know, we're cheaper, we're faster, we're better, we're better quality. There's some list of attributes a bit about which all of us on any buying decision go through this, this, this list, some more overtly than others but nonetheless that list is there. We make our buying decisions based on some of these things. All too often I find businesses don't really understand that well enough. So they find themselves trying to be all things to all people all at once. Um, that's a very hard thing to do. Uh, and your customers typically want, as I've said, a set of characteristics which we call the order winners. There are some basics, you know, you need, your product needs to be good quality, it needs to be delivered broadly on time, it needs to be broadly within the, the price range. But there's, you know, there's some things that will make it, yes, I'm going to buy from you as opposed to somebody else. Most organisations um, don't understand that well enough. And so my first tip is do some research, find out what your customers want. What are those important things? Critical, because you need to convey that message to your staff as well to make sure that they're doing the right things for that, uh, that outcome. So first step, find out what these, these order winners are. Second tip is to actually then go and look at all of your business processes and say, which ones of our business processes contribute to delivering that order winner? Let's just say we've chosen an order winner of, of, of reliable delivery. So we have a procurement team. Procurement team buying services off of transport providers. Point number one should be reliability to deliver, not lowest cost. Okay, do you get the, the message? So we look at procurement, we might look at manufacturing, we might look at you know, dispatch. What are the key processes in your business? And identify them and say, are these performing to deliver on those, on those order winners? If they're not, start changing the words, start changing the language. I remember very well a project I was working on when I first came to New Zealand 20 years ago where an organisation was needing to change from being a low cost organisation to being a higher service organisation and during that transition I found we weren't converting all of the company. I would find people in our organisation still making decisions on lowest price when actually we needed best service and best, best delivery. So, Identify those processes, check that they're delivering the right sort of things. And my third tip is actually to identify when you had a good day. We all know when the stars aligned and we all go, boy, that was a good day, things worked well. You know, why was that? Well, people turned up on time, people were skilled and able, the raw materials did what they were supposed to do. You know, everything worked, machines worked, uh, no breakdowns, those sort of, those sort of things. So I would suggest that we actually need to identify all of those good reasons. That should be our perfect day. That should be the thing we should subscribe to. Many organisations talk about benchmarking. Uh, we do as well, but we're very cautious about comparing to external benchmarks too soon. There is a place for that, but going that too soon, quite often it can be too, too, too far away from your current reality. People say, There's, you know, we can't do that because. If you can actually show them that, you know, fairly recently they had this sort of perfect day, why don't we do it every day? It becomes far more attainable, far more realistic, far more achievable. And when you show that gap and you identify all of these particular reasons, 
then you need to attack them relentlessly, rigorously. Why did that happen? How do I make it happen again? What are the things getting in my way? Let's do some structured problem solving to, to, to improve them. So quite systemic, really, but very, very focused on delivering what you need to be best at. And that way, you'll be efficient. <laughs>